So this video will be a simple uh, tutorial on how to make a Python desktop cleaner. And it's really simple, there's nothing really to it, so it's a really good introductory video for anyone. And we're going to jump right into it. So first we're going to uh, open Notepad++. If you don't have Notepad++, you better download it because it's really good. And we're going to make a new file and we're going to save it as a Python program. So we're going to call it cleanup.py. Right, the dot .py means it's a Python program, so you're going to save it as all types. Make sure that all types is there. And we're going to save it on our desktop. Yeah. So the first, how the program is going to work is all the files on our desktop is going to be moved into a separate directory, thereby cleaning up your desktop. So first we're going to make up our directory. So let's call a variable destination dir is equal to uh, let's give it a path. C users shunt desktop cleanup. Now this path can be anything you want. This is the path where all your files are actually going to be moved into. So I'm going to just move it onto a separate folder on my desktop, but you can put it anywhere you want. I don't want to put it on my D drive because it will take a long time because there's a lot of data here. So I'm just moving it still onto another place on my desktop. Now, this is just a path variable. Now, to make the original folder, we're going to call os.makedirs. By using this, you're, you can make a folder specified in destination directory. So, os.makedirectory, it's going to make this directory. And what is this directory? The path here. See users push on desktop cleanup. And in order to use OS, you have to import it. Import OS. So for creating files, you have to use OS. And to learn how to use these things, read up on the documentation online. So we're going to run it. So here's my file. I'm going to right click it, open with, and use your Python. And we're going to run it. Uh, and there, see, the file is created. So we're going to delete that. Okay, so now we know our program can create a directory. Now we need to list out all these files. If you're used to Linux, you know that ls actually lists out all the files in a directory. So we're going to do the same thing in Python. So what we're going to do is, we're going to call os dot, uh, dot list dir. This is going to list the directory of c users, Prashant desktop. So this is going to list out all the files on my desktop. And we're going to return it into a list variable. So list is an li empty list variable and all the elements of my desktop are going to be returned in here. I'll show you how that works. And for x in list, which means for every element in your list, we're going to print out x. So in order to see this printing process, you have to open the command line. And we're going to call python cleanup.py. So as you can see, my folder was created. And for every element in my list, list contains all the files on my desktop. For every element in my list, I'm going to print out x. So as you can see, you can see all my files on my desktop. Now what we're, going to, what we're going to do is move all these files into this folder cleanup. So let's delete that. And what we're going to do is we have to do one check here. Um, x is equal to file. We're going to continue. I'll explain that. Otherwise, we're going to use shuttle uh, move x comma destination directory. So what this is going to do is Every element here you see is x. So when x is equal to file, which means file underscore file underscore means it'll take the name of the program, cleanup.py. And if it's the name of the program, we're going to continue because our program's on the desktop. We don't want our desktop program to move into another file. Because if this moves from the original directory, it's going to crash. Uh, because, you know, that's kind of obvious. You don't want to move this. You want to move all these other files into this folder. So if the file is actually the program, if x is equal to file, so as we can see here, this is all x. 
So on x is equal to clean up dot pi, we're going to continue. We're going to continue from the beginning of the for loop. Otherwise, if it's any other file, we're going to use shuttle. Shuttle is another thing that is used to move files. Dot move x into destination directory. In order to use this, you're going to have to import it too. Import. I don't even know if that's how you pronounce it or not. Anyways, and now we shall see some magic, hopefully. We're going to run it again. Ta-da! All the files from your desktop are gone. And they're all placed into this cleanup folder. Except for your program. Obviously, you cannot put this program in your cleanup folder. Because the net, when it runs, it'll say the program went missing or something. You can't do that. It'll get into an exception. So leave your program there and move everything else into your cleanup folder. Obviously, you can't move your recycle bin or this PC because these aren't shortcuts. These are the actual things. So you can't move your recycle bin to any other directory. That's kind of obvious too. But everything else is cleaned up. Now the problem here is, imagine if you run it again, uh, let's put on some junk, like, right, and uh, we're going to run it, what's going to happen is, it cannot create a file when that file already exists, which means, when, since cleanup already exists, it can't run it, because already cleanup exists and it won't overwrite it, so an easy way to prevent it from overwriting is, just checking if this directory is already created. Since cleanup directory is already created, it can't do anything. So what we're going to do is, while, this is, a, like, you can implement your own logic. This is just something I came up in two minutes. What's the path exists? Destination DIR. What we're going to do is, destination DIR plus equals str of i and plus equals one. Oops. So what's going to happen is, since cleanup exists, what's going to happen is, it's going to concatenate this path, cleanup, with i. So it's going to call c users Prashant desktop cleanup1. And when it comes back here, it realizes you don't have a folder called cleanup1. You have a folder called cleanup, but you don't have one called cleanup1. So it's going to make a directory. And next time, like when it sees you have cleanup, and clean up one. It's going to make up clean up one, two, or one. It'll, it just makes the folder names unique so you're not overwriting anything. So let's run it. Uh, syntax. Alright. And let's run it. So as you can see, all this stuff has been moved into clean up one, your original clean up folder, and your documents. Now if you run it again, it will make a folder called clean up and we'll clean up one into clean up and vice versa I mean it's just used so the same folder isn't being all righted since like I said we already had a clean up folder so I can't make another clean up folder since this is already created so instead of making clean up they make clean up one I, that's up to you like how you want to implement your logic but this is just like a simple way to clean up your desktop